Hi guys, 18 Dapper here, wanting to wish you a very Merry Christmas and for this video I'm just going to go through what I got on Christmas Day. Let's get into it. So guys, welcome to this one. As I said in the intro, I just want to go through what I got for Christmas. Um, I enjoy watching videos of other people. I'm a little bit nosy. Uh, I like to see what other people have got. And it's my way of saying thank you to everybody who, like friends and family, who got me gifts and showing my gratitude um, because I do feel very grateful for the gifts that I've received this year. And if you're like me and you like to be nosy and see what other people have got, this video is for you. As I said in the intro, wishing everybody a very Merry Christmas. Hope you've had a very good one um, and it's been healthy and safe. Um, ours has been a little understated, but nice nonetheless. I've really enjoyed a, a steady Christmas today. So let's get straight into it. There's a couple of gifts which were, were given as a joint gift for myself and Vicky. First one from Anthony is some Bertie Bots every flavour bean so keep your eye out on Vicky's channel I will link it in the top corner somewhere uh, we'll probably be doing something for, for her channel with uh, with these incorporated somehow maybe like a little quiz and these are the forfeit something like that so yeah they will feature soon <laughs> another joint one from Min Nan uh, she's got us a box of celebrations we do love as chocolates over Christmas and there's a bit of a running theme here so to begin with I'm going to go through all the food and drink um, because it's quite a bit of it people know that we like our treats and people know that I like my alcohol so uh, so yeah received quite a bit of that and this one was from the dog I'm looking forward to trying these on some toast we have got some dear preserving nature since 1881 um, and the four perfectly blended spirit infused preserves so four jams uh, we've got orange and whiskey black currant and rum strawberry and kirsch and ginger and amaretto so yeah looking forward to sampling them I'll let you guys know what they're like I'm especially looking forward to the black currant and rum should be alright on to the next couple of gifts not Christmas without a Terry's chocolate orange. I do like white chocolate, so Vicky got us a white chocolate orange. That'll go down very nicely this evening while watching a little bit of telly. And she's also got me a large alphabet chocolate D for Dan Dapper, however you want to see it. But yeah, I'll get. I'll probably be sharing that. That's quite a lot of chocolate to eat. So uh, so yeah, we'll be sharing that while watching some rubbish telly over the festive period. Onto a couple more bits of chocolate with uh, with the alcohol theme. Had these before the Guinness chocolate caramels. They are very very nice. Um, so yeah, looking forward to, to having those. Best before twenty fifth of the third, twenty twenty two. So we've got to get through these pretty quickly. We've got five more chocolatey themed items. Um, we've got some Cadbury's white jingly balls. Um, so yeah, little white chocolate balls, very, very nice. We've had these before, so they'll go down a treat. And along with those, we have got a bar of bubbly milker. Lovely. Me and the family had our Christmas a couple of weeks ago. Um, kind of festive schedules didn't quite line up, but on the table, my mum put a few gifts um, just for people to open before dinner. And that gift was a Cadbury's uh, selection box. Very decent and Got a free ticket to one of those with a purchased adult ticket. So you'll see we've been to Alton Towers a few times. We like going to theme parks and things, so we will definitely get the use out of that. Vicky, or the dog, um, also got me some classic schmores kit. Uh, so once again, while watching some telly, we will get toasting some marshmallows and melting some chocolate. It's got some Nutella in there. Um, and a couple of biscuits so hazelnut spread marshmallows and sweet s'mores crackers all in a pack ready to go so yeah indoors you can microwave them outdoors and um, get the fire going melt the marshmallows and make some s'mores and the final edible item before we go on to the drinkable items is this box set of galaxy uh, chocolate bars there is galaxy caramel galaxy cookie crumble Smooth milk, salted caramel, 
a couple of galaxy ripples as well so yeah these will all go in the snack jar um, and we will just dip in and out over the festive period and then after the festive period it looks like we're gonna have to get back to the gym pretty regular because hopefully fingers crossed we are selected for the Eve's Trust charity game next year uh, and that'll be like in May time so a couple of months to get back into shape after having all of this chocolate now we go on to the drinkable items and first up another gift from Anthony he's obviously been to uh, Harry Potter world because he's brought us back some butter beer butter beer is absolutely beautiful um, like a butterscotch flavoured sparkling soft drink lovely so thank you very much that will go down very very nicely now onto the alcoholic beverages uh, Chris Rach and the kids got us a Jack Daniels and Coke in a can uh, I love my Jack Daniels it's very very nice this is something that I've never tried though Jack Daniels apple with tonic give it a try now because it's Christmas and I've not got a drink so we may as well have one oh, smells very appley oh that is very refreshing I could see me on a summer day getting rather tipsy on a Jack Daniels apple with some tonic but if that doesn't float your boat um, I've also got some Jack Daniels honey with lemonade I've tried this before beautiful once again on a summer's day very very refreshing but yeah this very nice thank you very much cheers Merry Christmas everybody continuing with the alcoholic beverages we've got a bottle of Captain Morgan's spiced gold rum beautiful stuff and um, so thank you very much for this that'll go down along with everything else very nicely and finally ugh, heavy one we have got a pack of six golden ales you'll see on the back of my door I've got a craft beer bucket list uh, it's not a shot at the minute we're not ticking many of those off so I need to start buying some of those and ticking those off but I do like my craft beers do like my IPAs, do like my golden ales. So in this one we've got Wainwright, uh, Ringwood, Boondoggle, Braxbeer Oxford Gold, Masters 61 Deep, Hobgoblin Gold, standard, very, very nice, and Jennings Cumberland. So a couple on there that I've not tried, and um, a couple that I have, so I know I like them. So that is the edible and drinkable section done. We'll move now on to the wearable section and we'll start with a gift from Vicky's dad. Um, and he has got me a intimately David Beckham box set. And this smells absolutely beautiful. Um, body spray and some, uh, some aftershave as well. The aftershave smells like a good everyday kind of aftershave. Um, and the body spray smells decent as well. So... Uh, I'll be wearing that on a day-to-day -day basis so thank you very much for that I've had some David Beckham stuff before and it, it does suit me uh, I know certain smells don't suit certain bodies David Beckham stuff does tend to smell quite nice on me if I do say so myself and also Vicky has bought me the David Beckham intimately Beckham um, larger 75 mil uh, aftershave as well so in that one you only get a 30 mil bottle of the aftershave. Uh, Vicky knows it smells all right on me. She agrees, so she bought me the bigger one, um, so it lasts a little bit longer. My mum and dad bought us a couple of belts, just a standard black and brown belt. I've got to a stage where my belts are starting to look a little bit rough, um, <laughs> being overused. So yeah, standard buckle, very very nice. Uh, just need to try them on because obviously all of this food and drink putting on a little bit of timber and um, hopefully these belts fit okay so show you the buckle for the black one standard buckle nothing too fancy for a belt but exactly what I asked for so thank you very much so I don't know if you're like me during a festive period you just like to chill out watch a bit of telly eat a lot of food drink a lot of drink but when I'm just chilling around the house, I do like to wear a pyjama set. We do like a pyjama set. I do like my space. It does interest me. Uh, the universe and 
everything that's out there. Um, love a bit of Brian Cox, watch him quite a bit. So Vicky's bought me some PJs um, that have got NASA on and a few little pointers um, beneath there. So I'll be wearing those. And to go with the to go with the jammies, I've got a new pair of slippers. The old slippers they do say nothing fits like an old pair of slippers well mine have gone beyond that point um, and they're not very comfortable there's not much left of them so due a pair of slippers and to go with the slippers she has got me a dressing gown that looks exactly the same um, I'll not I'll not put it on it's a dressing gown you know what a dressing gown looks like um, but yeah it feels very warm feels very cozy so during the winter months we'll get all of that whacked on and chill out and watch a little bit of telly and have a bit of time with the missus. And to finish off the wearable section of this video, Chris, Rach and the kids bought me the 1988 Rovers replica home shirt with the free press across the front. 1988, the year that I was born. So this shirt does mean quite a bit to me. Never, never saw the Rovers playing it, obviously I was far too young. Uh, but the year that I was born makes sense to have that in the collection. So you will see me in that probably for the Sunderland game um, and games beyond because it is a very very nice shirt so thank you for this so that is the wearable section the edible the drinkable section all done uh, this one's now the usable section we'll go with that uh, and Vicky ages ago she bought me a Lego keyring for my keys it had spider-man on love a bit of spider-man um, but because it's in and out of my pocket it just all wore off and it ended up just being like a blue faceless Lego man. So uh, it ended up without an arm and a, without a leg. So <laughs> that got taken off a few months back. And if you've seen previous videos on this channel, you'll know that me and Vicky love us a llama. We've been llama trekking. Um, that's in Doncaster. Uh, well worth going and, well, check the video out. I'll link it in the top corner of the screen. Um, and if you've got an opportunity to go there, go there. But she has found me. A little, oh. come on, there we go, a little llama Lego keyring, very happy with that, that'll be going straight on my keys after this video. Something else that's usable and that will keep me up to date and organised is a calendar for 2022, that'll be on the desk somewhere um, with videos that I need to get done of when I need to get them done, previews, match day vlogs and also kind of all the stuff that me and Vicky are up to so that I'm a little bit more organised because if it's not written down or I'm not told about it about 3,000 times I forget about it and it doesn't get done so this will be vitally important for me in 2022 to try and get myself a little bit more organised. Something else that Vicky got for I think the two of us more than anything, um, the new James Bond no time to die so once again i will be in my jammies slippers uh dressing gown with loads of chocolate and drink around me watching this i've heard it's quite a lengthy film so you never know we might get through a fair bit of that chocolate and drink while watching this and we'll probably get this watched during the festive period between uh, between christmas and the new year not seeing it yet so i'm looking forward to watching that please no spoilers in the comments down below the next gift isn't as much usable as it is aesthetically pleasing. Yes, Vicky got us a Doncaster Rovers cushion for the studio. Uh, it's going to go on this chair right here. Beautiful. There we go. Very nice. Happy with that. So thank you, Vicky. Goes back in shop. There we go. The next couple of gifts are from my mum and dad. Uh, as you've probably seen from socials, if you follow me on the socials um, and previous videos, we've got a house. We're doing it up slowly. We're getting there. So DIY is a big part of our lives at the minute. Um, renovating a house. So for my birthday, my dad got us a number of tools to help out he's sick and tired of fetching his tools up 
um, so it bought us a load of tools so that he doesn't have to cart his, his gear around all the time but we've got his own stuff here uh, so a little addition to that is this Bosch I think it's about a hundred bit uh, set so screwdriver sets, uh, allen keys um, there's stone drills, wood drills, steel drills uh, counter sink, you name it, hex keys in there um, you name it, it's in there so pretty much everything that I need to do DIY is all there, easily found in one place so big thank you for that uh, to go with that as well we have a universal fit bit so my mum and dad got us that um, to go in with the tools that he bought us for my birthday uh, he got us an ang angle grinder on my birthday so he's bought us a couple of discs for that as well uh, diamond cutting discs so they will come in handy with the DIY that we've got planned for this place um, he's also got us or they've also got us another carry case but in this one it is segregated into loads of little different compartments so you can keep your nuts, screws, bolts all in there nice and tidy so you're not scrambling around to find the size that you want so big thank you for those he's bought us another power tool as well um, and this one is a McAllister jigsaw absolute beast of a tool um, there's bits in there as well so yeah like I say we've got plenty of DIY planned for the house we have got a jigsaw to help us on the way so a big thank you for that as well and with all the tools that my mum and dad have bought us the power tools um, and all of the bits to go with them you obviously need a place to keep them so the big gift from my mum and dad um, although they're big enough as it is something that I didn't expect is a uh, a Stanley toolbox I will show you that now so here's the Stanley toolbox it's quite a tall toolbox um, we have got a compartment in the middle turns around a little bit like the uh, the carry case get your nuts screws bolts everything that you need in there nice and segregated um, and you can carry it around and they stay put in place uh, lift the top off and then you've got a bottom compartment Hopefully we'll get all of the uh, the power tools in there. Pop that back on. Fasten it on the sides. It's got some little wheels um, and the top handle lifts up so it's a lot easier to take around here, there and everywhere. A couple of compartments on the top as well. And then the top compartment opens up with a fair bit of space in here as well we just pull it forward top lifts off a fair bit of space in there as well so yeah big thank you for that um, be able to keep all my tools nice and tidy locked away so yeah I'm very grateful for all of the tools that my mum and dad have got us They'll help massively towards the DIY and, uh, and renovation of our new home. So a big thank you for that. So that leads me on to the final two gifts, both from Vicky. Um, ended up buying this in the Black Friday sale. It's something that I've wanted for the studio uh, just to kind of complete the area a little bit more. Um, I want to get a PlayStation set up in here, but you need a TV, obviously, for, for a PlayStation. So we were... Out in Curry's, I was buying Vicky's Christmas present and we saw a TV. It was very reasonably priced um, for, for what it is. So Vicky bought me it and said, Merry Christmas. So I will show you that now. So here it is, still boxed up. Uh, 39 inch LED Smart HD TV. As I say, bought in the Black Friday sale. Bit of a uh, spontaneous purchase, but it's something that I was saving up for anyway uh, to get for the studio and Vicky was kind enough to say I'll get it for you Merry Christmas um, and the second present that I said there was two presents um, remaining it's on top is an aerial to go with it um, just so that I can actually watch the TV up in the studio uh, so yeah I'm going to get that unboxed um, and set up on ooh, on there so 
few little bits are going to need to get shifted, put on the walls, I've got some running medals, uh, some rovers tops, a rovers wooden plaque, my ultimate team card, um, and a few other little bits need putting on the wall to finish it off, but that should be the area where the TV goes, and get the PlayStation as well. So that finishes off my Christmas gift video, I hope you've enjoyed being a little bit nosy and seeing what I got for Christmas. Uh, unfortunately, no pork pies in the edible section, so the person on Twitter who gave us a little bit of grief for getting a pork pie for a gift. I'm sorry, didn't get another pork pie, but I do love a pork pie as a gift, so in the future, if you want to get me one, by all means. <laughs> um, but no, I am very, very happy with, with what I've got. I'm very grateful um, for all of the gifts that I've received. And for me, it isn't always getting stuff. Um, it's about spending time with loved ones, especially in the current climate that we're in and the time um, with COVID and what have you. It is vitally important to spend time with loved ones and the people who matter most. So I hope you've had that opportunity to, to spend that time with your family and people that you love the most. And I hope that you've had a very, very happy Christmas. And that's where I'm going to leave this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please stick a big thumbs up on it for us, please. Comments in the section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.